The following program is a production of AGW Entertainment, heard on the official website of AGW Entertainment. It's that time once again for AGW Entertainment Radio. And that's all I got to say about that. Hosted by Jonathan Clark. The beat! The man! You gotta beat the man! Whoa! Be sure to join us in the live chat room during the show. Hulkamania is running wild like it's never ran before. Call us on one of our request lines. If you live in the United States, call us at 1-641-985-7800, box number 3729288. If you're from Canada and would like to call us, call us at 1-647-724-4194, box number 3729288. Long distance charges may apply in some areas. I've been the World Heavyweight Champion ten times. Or you can always drop us a line at MySpace, myspace.com backslash H-E-W Entertainment. And you will rest in peace. Emailing us works for you too. Email us H-E-W-Wrestling at Hotmail.com. I am a wrestling god. J-B-L. J-B-L. And now, without any further ado, here is your host of H-E-W Entertainment Radio on the official website of H-E-W Entertainment, Jonathan Wah. The champ is here! problem with them going to iCarly.com and see the problem with that is if they go to iCarly.com then they're not going to get to hear anything like the stuff they hear on HEW Entertainment Radio I mean think about it I mean they're not going to hear an interview and stuff like that besides the fact the show's just stupid oh boy and this is the part that I love iCarly.com doesn't have Jonathan Clark hosting a radio show or updating a website so you need to stay here on this website if you ask me, that sounds like a pretty good plan. You're listening to HEW Entertainment Variety Radio with me, Jonathan Clark. Because if you already didn't know that, I think we're done here with this. I think we're done here with this jingle. They've heard enough. Yep. <laughs> I wonder what bathing suit I should wear to the shoot. The pink's cute, but the black really works with my tan. <laughs> I don't think you get to decide. They'll probably just tell us what to wear. I guess, but... Fun to think about. Can you believe we get to come out here every day? Yeah. Hi everybody, 
this is Kimberly, CZW Bombshell, and you're listening to AEW Entertainment Radio with Jonathan Clark. <laughs> Time is it where you are Unless you more than anything I'm back at home, you feel so far Waiting for the phone to ring Instead of only living upside down I don't even want to be in this town Trying to figure out the time So it's making me crazy You say good morning defined as an obstacle which one is faced with through perseverance can overcome it. That sums it up as an introduction for this week's topic. We're going to be talking about the release for the first time ever of Soul Surfer on Blu-ray and DVD which stars Carrie Underwood and an individual who portrays Bethany Hamilton quite well. Uh, the inspiration for the film, uh, of course, is based on a true incident which happened to Bethany Hamilton, a teen surfing champion at only the age of 13, who had her entire arm bitten off by a tiger shark, which is also classified as a rogue shark, uh, which is believed to be a shark, a species of shark, which actually hunts humans as food and as prey. We're going to be getting into all that uh, in great detail. Of this special edition of the program. I'm your host, Jonathan Clark, welcoming you to this very special edition of HEW Entertainment Variety Radio Heard in our radio form and our audio archives and on our official YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at some shark incidents which have happened over the last 50 years. We're going to be taking a look at the release of uh, Soul Surfer on Blu ray and DVD and Shark Night in 3D, which is also going to be a very, very thrilling. Uh, and chilling shark film, probably one of the best shark films since uh, the release of Jaws back in 1975. I will admit to our listening audience, I am one who becomes very terrified of shark films, especially Jaws, which was released for the first time in theaters in 1975, going on to make four uh, very impressive films. It was based on a book 
uh, that was released back in the 70s and um, I will admit to you, you know, I get very terrified over these shark films, especially the open water movies uh, and the Jaws movies, but uh, ironically enough I'll find myself sitting down and actually watching these shark films in their entirety. Maybe it's the setting uh, of the films which really spook me out, uh, given the fact that they're out there in open water and then all of a sudden a shark comes up and, uh, you know, does what he's there to do, of course. Uh, I find myself getting very terrified of these films, but I did uh, check uh, the majority of these shark films out. I have my opinions on them, and if you have any, any opinions on films like Soul Surfer and previous shark films like Jaws and Open Water, uh, you can let us know on our YouTube channel and uh, on our radio forum. Uh, one of the things I love about this website. Uh, but I, I have to tell you, you know, uh, Soul Surfer is a wonderful, wonderful adaptation of true events, and of course, uh, it's derived off of true events which took place several years ago uh, when a teenager had her entire arm bitten off by a rogue shark back uh, several years ago. I don't know the exact date uh, in terms of the year that this had happened, but I know that it happened actually on